you know, going low carb, keto or carnivore is not just about weight loss. Hey there, njroot22.com with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's just a, I guess, kind of like a milestone or, or, or something that everybody who does low carb keto carnivore will eventually encounter and whether you should talk about weight anymore. Now, losing pounds of gravitational force, as they say, is, an, is one of the markers that you can use for um, tracking your progress. And, and the other two most important ones, in my opinion, other than how you feel and how you look, um, are how your clothes fit uh, and your actual body fat percentage, which you can probably figure out without a scale. You can use that the uh, belt test to figure that out because um, the numbers should never depress you. Like if you're at, if you get down to 200 and you're there for like uh, six months and all of a sudden you're at 210 or 208, remember your weight fluctuates probably up to 10 pounds a day. So try to weigh yourself at the exact same time every day. And, you know, because weighing yourself in the morning or in the mid-afternoon after lunch or dinner, you're going to be disappointed. So always pick, uh, the morning is good for me because that's usually the lowest. But, um, so, you know, if you plateau and you don't know why you're plateauing and there's no other measurements or if, if you're not paying attention, like for me, it's the belt. I, I, can, feel, I can tell when I'm, you know, at five or five notches and it's easy and... <clears throat> And if, even if the weight goes up uh, even as much as 7 to 10 pounds and your belt is somehow getting looser, <laughs> maybe your belt is cheap and it's just stretching, I don't know. No, but you can tell that the clothes aren't getting tighter and even though your weight goes up, there's, there's probably a good reason. And that's why you should probably invest in a semi-decent uh, body fat scale. Body fat scale will show you that... Uh, you're not really, you're actually losing weight. We lost, I think it was over the course of six months, I stayed the same weight and I was starting to get uh, a little bummed. And I didn't pay attention to the number on the scale until I, I hate to say it, I have, I have an app. No, I actually didn't do it on the app, I take that back. You can log into their website and there's a chart you can manage. So I looked on the chart and I'm like, wow, my, my body fat percentage has been going steadily down even though the weight has sort of plateaued. And so I did the math and it ended up being, even though my weight stayed the same um, or even up a pound or two, I lost you know, between eight and 10 pounds of body fat while the weight stayed the same, which means my lean body mass went up. So that's something to, to don't get hung up, especially if you've been doing the low carb keto carnivore for a long time and you're feeling good, uh, the, the weight becomes much less of an issue uh, over time, you're like, eh, so what? I remember when I first did it and my weight went up, let's say I hit a milestone, let's, for argument's sake, let's say you were like 200 pounds your whole life and you wanted to get down to 150 and you, you broke 150 and you were like 147, 148 and then like a month later or two months later, you're like 158, 159 and some people would get heartbroken, they'd be like, ah, oh, all that progress and I lost, but if you still feel good and the clothes fit, um, you shouldn't really worry about it because your body does go through changes and the, the fluid has a lot to do with it. Unless you're hyper, like, like overly obsessive about measurement and you get like the highest accuracy flotation tanks and all sorts of electronic sensors, I would take all these with a, with a grain of salt and use uh, a combination of metrics like clothes, body fat percentage, and your weight, and how, generally how you feel. Uh, you should also be honest with yourself uh, in terms of what you've been eating. If you notice the spike and it coincides with stuff like this uh, ruby red beer that I've been drinking, even though it's only three grams um, of carbs, that, that may play a temporary role and once you kick the beer to the curb, it'll, your weight will uh, stabilize and go back down again. I, I, I think these wheat-based beers sometimes throw me off for two weeks or more. So that's it. Don't worry about the weight. The weight is just one of many, and that's that. Uh, it's how you feel, and uh, just carry on. Please subscribe if you like the video. Hit the bell if you want to get notified. We do three videos a week. And that's it for njroot22.com. Have a nice day.